In secluded northwestern Montana, near the town of Heron, a witty form of art takes shape with the help of a lively husband and wife who combine their talents and create. Welcome, we're the archers. Come in and meet our family. First of all, we have Barney, our resident naked cowboy. He's down to his barrel and his bottle. That's about all he has left. Now we have Ace, our gambler. Kind of a shifty looking dude. Then we have our resident Montana fly fisherman, Skeeter. Now we have St. Nick that's all ready for Christmas. Then my all time favorite is Buck here with the fly on his nose. He doesn't know whether to shoot or swap that fly. Then we have Turtle John, along with his tomahawk, his rattle, and his antler pipe. All of these wonderful characters are made out of driftwood, and then we like to enhance them with uh, any type of old item that we can. For an example, the brims are made out of old uh, nail buckets. Uh, the hat brims are made out of old uh, horse harnesses that the neighbors have given us, the farmers, around the area. Then we like to embellish the characters with the antiques if at all possible. And each one is an intricate part of our family. Dale and Monica Archer like being green. Trudging along the banks of the nearby Clark Fork River, unique pieces of wood worn from erosion are selected and gathered together to help the archers form their one-of-a-kind creations. We've always been outdoors people. Uh, the best times of our life is out walking the rivers, out in the woods. Usually we have a character in mind when we're hunting for driftwood, so we're looking for certain pieces of wood that will uh, let the character become a being. You have to have the ability to see the character in the wood, in the driftwood. Uh, driftwood's especially tricky because there's all different shapes, sizes, grains. And check out this piece. Nice. It just all varies. Many people think that we bring home every piece of driftwood, but we might walk five, six miles and bring home only one piece of driftwood. Beauty is just floating around in the rivers and a lot of times going to waste. And we try to bring it to life. And we just absolutely love working with it. We've worked with it for close to 30 years now. Back at home in his shop, Dale begins to carve on a piece of wood destined to be the head of one of their characters. I watched my grandfather whittle out toys for me when I was just four and five years old and it kind of took with me and, and I discovered I did have an ability to carve and whittle and just make something out of nothing. It takes a, quite a bit of patience, uh, a lot of time, and a lot of work. This is an example of a piece I found the other day. Just an awesome, awesome piece. This will be a, this will be his hat. I'll cut it off here and make a white band for a Santa. His face will be in here. He already has his arms, his torso. I'll have to add feet and a base. But basically, he's an awesome piece already. Dale's always been artistic, and I think after being married to someone for so many years, that kind of just rubs off. So. We kind of make a good team. We're looking for the same things. We have a really close relationship. We work 24-7 uh, together. I'm great at detailing. Dale's good at carving. We're, we both work together on design. We work as a team. We work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. <laughs> and we absolutely love it. Uh, I couldn't work with anyone else. Detail plays an important role in the archer's creations. Take this commission piece of a firefighter requiring meticulous work. Facial features copied from an image are combined in the final piece. Detail in the accessories also plays an important role, right down to the water dripping from the nozzle. Downtime from the creative process is a great time for the archers to market their products as they move from event to event. I think that you have to have a sense of humor if you want the characters to be humorous and, and you want your public to get that when they walk in your booth that each character is part of your family and humorous and, and it makes the customers laugh. I love that aspect of the delight on their faces when they see the characters. 
The wood has been good for the archers, helping them carve a lasting relationship between themselves and their creations. We're very remote, we like that. We like the quietness, the peacefulness, the serenity. When we come home from uh, doing a show on the weekends is our time to just chill out and look at the beautiful view and the peacefulness around us. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.